shocking to many. A valley man pregnant delivering three children. Now, Thomas Beatty's story is taking another possibly historic turn. Beatty and his wife are going through a divorce and the case has left the judge baffled. All right, here's some background on this story. Beatty was born a woman, Tracy, but later underwent a sex change. In 03, he married his wife, Nancy, in another state. She couldn't have kids, so he, with female reproductive organs still intact, became pregnant and gave birth to three children. After public allegations of violence and alcohol abuse between the couple, they filed for divorce earlier this year, but now the judge isn't sure if their marriage was ever valid. Same-sex marriage is not recognized in Arizona, and records show Beatty still had female parts when he got married. Which brings us to today and this legal limbo that they're in. Chris Rapsky is with Beatty's attorney to explain a this one-of-a-kind case. Chris? Yeah, thanks, Faye. We're joined this morning by David Cantor with Cantor Law Group, your Beatty's uh, attorney. Explain this for me. How can a man who can do the most womanly of things, give birth, be legally considered a man? Well, that's the question that the judge had in this case, but basically the law is what governs. And in both Arizona and Hawaii, there's four things. You need to get a sex change operation, which only involves a mastectomy along with some hormone therapy, but it doesn't require sterilization. Mm -hmm. You then have an affidavit by the doctor, you get a new driver's license or birth certificate, and then you can get a marriage license and marry somebody who's of a different sex than what is now on your license. So you don't need to be sterile to, be cons to have a, a valid sex change. Correct, in fact, only 21% of female to male sex change recipients actually get a hysterectomy. 21%? That's it, 80% have their reproductive organs wow. still. Okay, so how does another state uh, validate this marriage and the sex change but yet Arizona doesn't recognize it. Well, that's the debate right now, and that's what the judge is struggling with. Um, under the principle of comity, Hawaii says this is valid, and they have the same statutes that we have. There's just no law in point in this state. I understand last Friday, uh, the surgeon that gave Beatty his sex change testified in court. There was some other testimony given. What happened in the courtroom on Friday? Well, the, the surgeon um, who performed Thomas' sex change operation has done over 2,000 of these. He does uh, approximately 150 a year. And he stated this is perfectly normal and this is a valid sex change operation. And many of his clients have gone on to marry people of the opposite sex post-surgery. So the judge is struggling with how to deal with this divorce, doesn't know if it's a valid marriage to begin with. How unprecedented is this case? Because I understand the judge doesn't have any case law to look back on in this state. In Arizona, there is no case law. In other states, there have been cases in which they've said, well, if you let somebody go through a sex change operation to get the benefits of changing their license, etc., they should obviously have the benefit of marrying somebody of the, new, of the opposite sex to what they are now. All right. So if the divorce isn't granted, what happens next? We have to deal with custody of the children. There might be property disputes. Where, where do we go from here? Well, if the divorce isn't granted, the judge still has to deal with custody because the children were adopted by Nancy, Thomas's ex-wife. So he still has to deal with that. But Thomas actually gets out of paying spousal maintenance. He saves money if the divorce isn't granted. That's not what he wants. He wants to be validated. He actually wants the... Uh, wants to pay spousal maintenance. Interesting. So basically at the heart of this, we have a debate over what constitutes a woman. Is it psychological? Is it physical? I mean, that's the debate here, right? That is the debate. And, and our position is it's not reproductive organs because there's many people who don't have reproductive organs. It's, it's basically your soul, your mind. And that's what the doctors have acknowledged when they do psychological testing before they grant a sex change. That's our position. But if I just say, hey, I'm a woman, I call myself a woman, but I don't have the, the physical attributes to back it up. Does that work in law? In order to get a, a valid sex change operation, you have to have counseling. You have to actually portray yourself as a woman and hold yourself out for a full year prior to the surgery. You have to go through hormone therapy, and then you have to have some reconstructive surgery, but not on your reproductive organs. So interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you coming in early this morning. There's a great article in the Arizona Republic. Here we go. Uh, this morning by Michael Kiefer kind of explains the situation uh, where Beatty is right now in court. And Faye, we understand that the judge expects to make his decision by February 10th. So that's when we'll know uh, the finality of this.